Zappy has chased the postman down the road. We have friends around. She will bark for maybe up to 40 minutes at them. Safi will keep barking at people. Mm. It's this constant nervousness about her. She was always a bit shy around new people, but mm. she didn't used to be as territorial, not as barky, until I think when we got Yogi. Mm. They're great friends now, but I think she sets him off and then it goes a bit mad. Whoa, as soon as that doorbell goes, it's a trigger for barking. Massive shot of adrenaline. Even though this is somebody they know, Safi continues to bark. That door becomes a flashpoint, and that's what I need to address. You're going to do what you did when I came in, put Safi in the garden. Yeah. So that she's not in this flashpoint here, mm -hmm. because that trigger with the door knocking, well, that's just too much. Yeah. The bigger challenge is an unexpected knock at the door, a trigger these two find impossible to resist. What normally happens is mayhem. Now we're changing the picture. Now you're no longer going to get up. Yeah. You're going to keep reading. Wait till they're settled. And then you calmly get up, close the kitchen door so they don't follow you. Mm -hmm. So you can talk to your delivery person in peace. <laughs> So while excitable Yogi and nervous Safi react as expected, the humans carry on as if nothing has happened. Eventually, they get the memo and settle down. Good boy, Yogi. Very nice. Good boy. Well done. Then after closing the kitchen door behind her, Carol can quietly see who's knocking. As odd as all of this seems, we're really breaking their habit. Yeah. Though in Safi's case, getting her to relax around visitors is more complicated. Have your guests come in, let them settle, and then introduce her. Also, be that kind of emotional anchor for her. Yeah. Give her those treats as you're coming in. Tell her, good girl. And that means she's going to be focusing more on you rather than on all of these scary people around. Yeah, OK. She'll also be focused on Victoria's next piece of advice. Engage the brain. I love this. It's an interactive toy that I put some food in. OK. She's got to work out how to get it out. OK. There you go. Now let's see what she does. The more sort of problem-solving activities you give, the better because when a dog is seeking and sniffing, it actually lowers their stress levels. I'm going to show her how to do it. There you go. What we just did then was a bit of social learning, mm. where I showed her how to do it, and then she did it herself. Soon she'll be like, oh, that's easy, oh, boom. There's a piece. Well done, good girl. Finally, never underestimate the power of exercise. Either before your guests come or after, take her for what I call a decompression walk. OK. As in, relieves that stress. Yeah. If you follow these tips, I can assure you that her nervousness around people is going to dissipate. Yeah, the future's bright for this girl and for you. Isn't it, darling? Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.